vultures, or what, what they're called again? A business of... Oops. No, it, it is a, it's a murder of crows. Oh, it's a wake. A no. wake, that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah it's a wake. Anyway, so a wake of vultures all gathered, plus a, a couple of other scavenging birds, tawny eagle, battalier, I believe, and beneath them was a placenta from an elephant that had just given birth. A placenta for an elephant that's just given birth. They're massive. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what it weighs. About, I would say 20 kilos. 20, 20 kilos, sounds, kilos sounds about right. 50, it's a massive, pounds. massive thing. And of course we set out to go and find this baby. And I actually wasn't, initially that wasn't my plan. I was going to go and sit there where Karula had been with her kill. And we just happened upon a herd of elephants there. And my plan was to sit there, sort of try and provide content so that Brent could go off and search for this little baby elephant. As it happened, just by, luck, by sheer luck, the elephant came to us. And just have a look at the clip of what happened next. No, is that it? Oh, it's there. There it is behind the mother. Is that it? Could it be? Oh my goodness. Look, it's still fuzzy. It is. Oh, goodness. Look at its wobbly legs. Oh, I don't believe it. I can't believe we've actually seen it. Hi, baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay, little one. Okay. All right. Hello, mommy. You're okay. You're okay. Look at mom moving the sticks out of the way for her baby. Oh, look at that. Bear in mind, this thing is only a few hours old and it's just learned to walk. And slippery feet. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oopsie daisy. Oh, well, luckily mom's there. It was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. It was so cool. No, it's Wasn't that just one of the most magical things you have ever seen? I know that I actually got, I got quite worked up. So did Jandre, in fact. So I wasn't alone in this whole in this whole deal. I think it was the way that the little baby, when it tumbled down that hill, the way that they all gathered around it and went to go and protect it. It was a really, truly touching moment. And we learned a lot about that herd's dynamics. I would say that Fang, if she's not the matriarch, she's very, very high up there. She is the biggest female, by far. Um, I definitely think she's the matriarch, but we haven't seen her in months. Months, 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 months. And, mm -hmm. and what an amazing way to see her again for the first time in many months. And I won't lie, I'm quite jealous. I know, I actually felt so guilty um, when this baby did pop out because, of course, it started with Brent. That whole story started with Brent, but I think it's actually quite a nice way of the way the teamwork worked, the teamwork played out, with us just sitting, waiting, and with Brent moving around the area. And what was amazing about that was new elephant moms can be very dangerous. Uh, there's, no, there's no beating about the bush with that. They've just given birth to a 100 kilogram baby. I'd also be dangerous if that were me. Um, and their little baby is so vulnerable and so fragile and that whole herd is incredibly protective of it. And they can be particularly young moms. That mother's not a young mother. That's not her first baby. But um, particularly young mothers can be very, very aggressive and very dangerous. So what was so nice about that sighting, particularly when that calf fell down towards us, was at no point did we get any aggression. The only thing that happened was that Fang, Fang is the one with the backwards facing tusk, by the way. She's not the mother, but as we said, we think she might be the matriarch. Well, she's very high ranking either way. Uh, as they walked away, Jandre stayed on the baby, but Fang went and stood between us and the baby with her ears out and her head up, but not, it wasn't, I don't know how to say it. It was just, it was just a warning as if to say, you stay there don't you move. I'm, I'm here. I'm going to protect this baby. It wasn't really like she thought we were going to. It was just, just stay where you are. You know, we're, we're in charge here. You've been fine so far. Don't, don't mess it up by trying to follow us. Because of course this little baby, I mean, you saw the legs. It was all wobbly and covered in the, in the white gunk from the, the whole birthing process. It was barely dry. Its ears couldn't, it was still stuck to its side of its head. I wonder what the technical term is for white gunk. 
Yes, I'm sure there's a, I'm sure there's a <laughs> mucus, probably. Mucus, there you go. That, that's, that's the one. White gunk. <laughs> white I, gunk. I prefer white gunk, personally. White gunk. Yes, I'm I sorry. Like, I like white gunk. <laughs> All right. Well, here's a question for you that you can talk about in official terms. Um, we'd like to know, James would like to know when it will lose its fuzz. Well, never, really. But, I mean, we can go on to, uh, to Brent's answer to that. But, I mean, uh, um, as they always have hair. They always have hair, and it's it's just it's just becomes less and less noticeable as they get older and it gets darker, and their and their skin becomes darker. So there's always hair for you, and I mean you you've seen how close we zoom on, you can see that the fuzz is there. So I think it doesn't ever lose its fuzz; it will lose some of it, of course, but it, the 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 hair will thicken and become darker, and then therefore less visible. It was. So